Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will show you how you can make your own 2022 planner using Canva and PowerPoint. Also, I started a poll last week on my Instagram and YouTube about the theme you prefer for the planner and the pastel one got the highest vote. That will be the overall vibe of this planner. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you have to do in creating a planner is to look for a palette and you can search on colorhunt.co. In this case, I chose the pastel option and looked for a palette. You can select any theme you prefer. The next step is to open Canva, click the create a design button. I will be using the standard size of GoodNotes but you can set your preferred dimensions for the planner. Going back to colorhunt.co, save the color palette you chose then upload it on canva so you can easily copy the color on the first page we will be doing the cover page so be creative in making your own i will just use a simple and minimalist design i placed a light shade of yellow for the page background then added this shape that will serve as the planner's cover make sure to have a space at the side so you can place the indexes Add a text box to include the 2022 planner text or an easy way you can do is to look for a planner cover on the templates tab of Canva. They have a variety of designs that are really good on which you can also customize them like in Zyro. So Zyro is affordable, fast and easy to use and has a 24-7 support website builder. It is one of the most affordable website builders in the market on which you can save hundreds of dollars per year. It is also an easy way to create your website and online store with just a few clicks. Doing some drag and drop editing, you can create your own website. And there are also hundreds of designer-made templates you can choose from. Moreover, websites you created with Zyro load at a higher speed which can help you increase sales and rank better on search engines. And the last feature that I will share with you but this doesn't end here is that Zyro has 24-7 customer support. Their friendly support team is ready to help you if you have problems with your website and they are readily there to help you to achieve success on your website or on your business. Zyro has this new year deal. You can get an exclusive discount plus 4 months free and a free domain with any yearly plan. You can use my code JESSERY or click on the link below. This is for a limited time only. Grab this amazing deal before it ends and start creating your website. And yes, I would like to thank Zyro for sponsoring this portion of the video. Moving forward, again, if you have a free plan on Canva, there may be templates that you cannot use because it requires a pro subscription but you can also create your own so i just place here the 2022 text at the back to have this minimalist vibe and to make it a bit realistic search for a shadow on the elements tab select this shadow box crop it until you only have one side of it adjust the transparency and duplicate it to place an additional shadow below and now we're going to create the indexes. You can choose a shape that you want. You can use a plain rectangle, but in this case, I used this hexagon shape. Adjust the sizes and place it at the back. Next is to duplicate the shape and put them side by side like in here. Make some adjustments until all the indexes you want to include fits the space. I added 13 of this shape. You can have additional indexes depending on your needs or on your style. Then set the color you want on the shapes. Here I decided to use all the colors in the palette. Then I adjusted the transparency to have the slight pastel shades. I just duplicated those indexes since I will be using these colors. So just make additional adjustments and in all, I have this 13 pastel colored shapes. Next is to add the months by placing a text box. You can choose any font or color you want. So I just use a white font color and for the last index, I just indicated it as more. After that, you can duplicate the page and add the content you want to include. 
I just deleted first the shadow and the other text box. I added this page so you can write your name here. By the way, this is also optional. The next thing we can do is to add the whole calendar year to a page. I just compiled this calendar before I recorded this tutorial. So what you can do is to highlight the calendar, copy, and paste it to the document you're currently working on. Adjust its size, color, and style. If you think it's kind of simple, you can search for a design in the elements tab. Aside from the method I showed you a while ago, you can search for a calendar template on Canva, then choose the design you prefer. Copy the template and paste it to the page you're currently working on. Again, if you want to add a page, you can duplicate the last page and delete the elements you will not be needing. For the next page, I decided to add this goals page where you can add the things you want to achieve every month. You can search for a template on the templates tab, copy it, and just modify the styles such as the colors and fonts according to your theme. I decided to use this pastel colors and I just adjusted their transparency. After the goals page, I just included a blank page. Then after that is the month by month planner. You can search again, you can search a template. Also the planner I will be doing is undated, which means it will not include dates for each month. This is also much easier and more convenient to make. But if you're planning to create your own, you can either choose a dated or undated monthly planner. So once you find the template, just repeat the process wherein you have to copy and paste it to your page. I then decided to include a weekly planner. I added a text at the side of each week so you can easily go to that specific week. You can then add a title page at the top. Here, just place the 2022 text and the months. Since this is undated, you can highlight the month you're currently planning. After adding the monthly planner, you can now add your weekly planner. Search for a template and just repeat the process. This is also optional because you may prefer not to include a weekly planner. I just chose this simple weekly planner adjust their sizes and colors. I will then duplicate this five times since there's an average of 45 weeks in a month. There are 12 months in a year. We have to repeat this for each month. To duplicate the pages faster, click the pages icon below. Then select the pages you want to duplicate. You can click on the control key on your keyboard and highlight the pages. Next is to right click and click on duplicate pages until you have 12 sets of this. Here I plan to add a calendar icon, you can search one on the elements tab. I just place it here at the corner and for the last set of pages we'll be including is the more page. I plan to add tracker pages here, you can include a finance or money tracker. Search for the one you prefer on the templates tab, copy and paste it to the page you duplicated. Change the color or font depending on what you prefer. I just stick to our theme and use this pastel colors. Since this is specifically for savings and I want a money tracker instead, I will just edit its text. After that is to screenshot the page. This is optional but I will be placing the photo on the more page. I used here the snipping tool but you can directly screenshot your computer and crop it. On the more page, add a rectangular frame so it will be much easier to add the photos. Just drag the image to the frame then I decided to add here a border, change the color, and adjust the size. Next is to duplicate the frame you added. I added here three of this because I will include three different trackers. Just repeat the process and, and here I added a password tracker for our second tracker template. And lastly, I just added this habit tracker. You can add other tracker you want in creating your own planner, add some more elements, change the style, and make some adjustments. 
I will also include additional blank pages here. I added a grid page. Just search for a grid pattern on the elements tab, then adjust its size and transparency. I also added a lined, dotted, and a blank page. Repeat the style we created on the templates portion, duplicate those shapes, and instead of using rectangular frames, use a square so they will fit on the page. Again, just screenshot it and place the images on the frames. I then used this border style and placed the shapes on one side or in a corner position. For our last page, you can duplicate the first page. So I just deleted the indexes and this will serve as a back cover for our planner. These are all of the pages. Unfortunately, placing hyperlinks in Canva with a huge number of pages doesn't work. So what we'll be doing is to click the three dots next to the download button and select the Microsoft PowerPoint option. The planner will be saved as a PowerPoint and there might be minor changes once you save it. Just add it and adjust them. To add a hyperlink, go to the Insert tab, click on the shapes and choose a rectangle. Cover a specific portion of an element on your page if you want to add a hyperlink to it. Choose the No Fill and No Outline option, right click on the shape, click on Hyperlink and select the Place in this Document option. Choose a page that you want the element to be linked to. In this case, I choose Slide 6 since it is where the January Monthly Planner starts. Repeat this process for each month and make sure they are linked correctly. Also, add a shape and hyperlink on other pages such as those for a weekly planner and also the indexes at the side. You can easily copy the hyperlinked shapes and paste them on every page in your planner. The one that takes a lot of time is to link each week to their specific slides because this doesn't repeat and you have to manually set it for every month. Also, do this on the More page and link your templates. So if you want to check if they do work, click on the slideshow presentation icon at the top and try to navigate it if they are correct. To save the planner, go to the File tab, then on the Save As option, choose a folder the file type will be using. It should be a PDF, add a file name, and here it is. Now I will show you how you can use it on your iPad or GoodNotes. By clicking on the Google Drive link I provided below, click on the three dots at the corner, choose the Open In option, save it to your files. After that, go to the Files tab, click on the planner you saved a while ago, click on the Save icon at the corner, and choose the Open In GoodNotes option import it as a new document and there you go you can now use the planner to enable the hyperlinks select the pen icon at the top and you can now easily navigate the planner you can now write on it and plan your 2022 and yes that is all for today's video guys again if you want to try out Zyro, you can use my code jessery for a discount or you can click on the link below and yes, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!